So, a board and setter. What it is, how you can make money with it, and how you can learn the skill coming up. Now, you can see here that people tell that appointment setter is a professional who schedules consultations between sales staff and prospective clients, ensuring that important meetings are booked for the sales team. But honestly, this is like a boring definition of appointment setter. It is way more fun, and of course, it is profitable. Also, you can see that there are a few hard requirements to get this job. So it's not like really demanding. You don't need like a degree or something in order to get started with this. And it is available all around the world because it's a remote work. All you need is a laptop or phone or some kind of a device so you can just track the work, right? Now, this article here says that an important setter is a person who works in sales, all right? But that is not true because the main job of an employment setter is to connect those leads with the salesperson itself. So there's a different salesperson who is doing all the sales, all the sales talk and all of that. But you are the one who are just connecting the leads, those warm leads, so-called warm leads to the clients and sales team. OK, so the sales team can actually make a sale. OK, so you just set the job. That's why it's called setter. Now, there's really a lot of information online and you can get educated. But the main principle of an employment setter is to just make like those calls. And if you are an inbound, there's like two types. There's inbound and outbound. Inbound is that you connect like warm leads to the salesperson. You just have to like memorize the script that you have to offer. And then you got to see if that's a qualified lead or not. And then you sell that to the salesperson, you know. But if you're outbound, you just make like cold calls. You just go to DMs. You just go to emails. And that's like two types of job. Let's say, for example, that this channel, this Kiko Amac, I have found this one. Now, you can see that he is selling certain coaching business on Instagram. And he has, like, nice following on Instagram as well. So, what he is doing, he's just driving traffic so he can sell his coaching service. Okay, so he is into some make money online niche. And he just sells his course, for example. Now, what is he using as well is these, like, so-called shoutouts. So, you can see he pays to another channel so he can get featured on that channel because for example this channel has a lot of subscribers and he can get those leads to his channel so they follow him as well that's how he just builds that traffic so let's just take a look at this if you just click on this and you go to the whole of this post if i just go and you can see follow kiko amac to learn blah 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 so that's how it works he gathers the traffic and then those warm leads can become the customers okay so that's how it works and all of those people who follow this channel well they're so-called warm leads and then he just nurtures them okay so he just like puts like this basic content just to keep them happy you know and then sometimes someone will actually click and contact this person but now look what happens if I just like the post, some of his posts on Instagram, for example, I don't know, maybe this one, whichever one you want. Well, what is going to happen? I'm going to get a message. I'm going to get a DM on Instagram, for example. And that's an employment setter because that's not the real person, right? That's not like this owner of the channel. But he hired someone to be an appointment setter for him. So you'll just reach out to me. He'll just going to say to me, oh, I see that you have liked my post. Can we talk about this and that? And then that person, that appointment setter, is going to see if I am a qualified lead or not. If I'm not a qualified lead, he is just going to stop messaging me. But since he's working for commissions and hourly wage, but commissions are good, since he's doing that, he's going to try to convince me that I need that course, okay? Through some strategies and all of that, you get the infrastructure ready wherever you work. So, what is he going to do? He's going to connect me to the sales team or the owner himself, because then the owner or the sales team can sell me the product. All right, that's how it works. Simple process. So they got a lot of traffic, appointment setter goes and like makes those leads, makes those appointments, and then they all make money. Now, appointment setter can get hourly wage and they can get a commission. So sometimes it can be, I don't know, 10%, 15%, 8%, 7%, whatever, based on 
who is your owner and what is the company, right? So you can see that it's a pretty, pretty simple process. The more people you book, the more money you can make. Now, of course, some of these appointment setters and some other companies, they're doing it like on the phones, you know? Sometimes there's a cold call, sometimes there's an email, sometimes like DM setter that's on Instagram. And you have all sorts of these. You have a lot of coaches online who are just needing that service right now. For example, you have this Kiko Amac, which I have shown you. So if I just click on this in his bio on this link, I will be redirected to this page and you can see right away. In order to get started, I just need to enter my first name, my email address, and I need to give them my phone number. Okay, that's exactly what I was telling you about. Sometimes if I just enter this, they will contact me. If they see that I'm not active or I don't know how it works, but they will contact me with this phone number that I have put in there. And with these kind of jobs, with these kind of influences, entrepreneurs, you can make a lot of money. For example, just look at Kinkito, Brandon Carter. He has 1 million followers. And these are like high ticket coaching services. Okay, so there's a high entry price into these courses. That means your commission is also higher. Okay, so it really can be good side hustle, but it can also be like a full time job if you decide to work on it. All right. In order to get like these courses, people have to like pay a lot of money in order just to get coached. So those commissions can be really, really nice. And of course, you have a lot of motivation to do that, right? The higher commission you get, the higher motivated you are, and you're going to get a lot of those leads for the person. Now, there are some specific responsibilities and requirements for this job. And you have like a lot of that on Indeed.com. You can just go and do some research. The most important part that I would recommend is to like gain relevant experience. Okay, you don't need education if you're going to work for these Instagram influencers or entrepreneurs. You know, you don't need education for that, but you can get a lot of experience in that field by working for those guys. You can actually go and reach them out. So what you can do, you can go to Instagram and you can just search for 100 coaches that you would like to like for. So you want to work for these 100 coaches. So what are you going to do? Well, go and cold DM. Okay, so you can reach out to all of them. And maybe you can just search for someone who is like lower placed at the first. So you can just gain a lot of experience by working with that person. You can even offer like free trial for them. Okay, free trial is a good way to just see. I don't know, maybe you can see your experience. How are you working? How good you are? How bad you are? And maybe he just can give you better better commission later down the road. But whichever one of these you choose, you just have to have that skill set. You have to be a good communicator. You have to be like really, really good with people. So your communication skills are going to play a big part in this when you decide to work on this. But all of these companies will give you like their own infrastructure that you can work on. And that's going to make your job easier. After all, you just contact leads. You will encourage the customer to schedule an appointment with someone from the sales team who will finalize the sale. Okay, so you don't have to sell anything. Okay, you don't have to like go and tell people buy this, buy that because of this, because of that. No, you just make an appointment. Okay, so you got someone who is maybe interested because he, I don't know, liked the post on Instagram and then you contact them with your script. Okay, if you find... Over time, you're going to find what works and what not, okay? The important part is that you just go and practice. You have to practice the interaction with the people, and that's going to bring you those commissions, which can be really good. Of course, as I've told you, you can work from home, wherever you live. Location is not important at all. Now, I have told you that the company will give you the infrastructure that you need, but GPT-4 has got something lately which can help all appointment setters, okay? GPT-4 is a wonderful thing nowadays because just take a look at this. You can get more organized with the help of this. So just take a look at this. You can input something. So for example, let's say you've got a lead which is called Andrew and you have the owner which is Hannah and you have Joanne which is like help in the sales team. So it will just give you the information on on, or are you just going to watch in the calendar? When can Andrew fit in? When can Hannah fit in? And when can Joanne fit in? So you can just input that in chat GPT. So like this, 
and then it will give you like the times it will give you common availability for a 30 minute meeting based on like that schedule that those people gave you so we can see this can way way make your life way easier okay chat gpt4 is a good thing for that it can like help you in all of the other things that you are involved but this is one example so my suggestion go and search for these coaches online go and see who would you like to work for then just start doing appointment setter job right away go and contact these people go and contact them reach out to them and see if they need appointment setter for themselves if you want to go pro if you have some education and if you want to go to indeed you can just search for appointment setter on indeed.com you can just choose location you can choose remote and you can search for those jobs you can see that actually now there's 68 jobs on indeed.com so you can just go and do a bit of a research see what's what see what fits you and what is not good for you so all in all appointment setter can be a really really fun job it can give you a lot of money firstly because you have an hourly wage and you have a commission so the more people you book the more money you're gonna make so it totally depends on you now you just gotta work hard for it and you gotta do it right okay go and do it and i'll catch you